Space station is constantly falling. It is. But its orbit is a clever way to fall without hitting the ground. It's moving forward so fast that as it falls, it keeps missing the planet. That is actually a really good explanation <laughs> for how orbit works. Just like how a reactor vessel balances heat and pressure here. This continuous fall creates a loop, keeping it circling around Earth rather than crashing into it. Now it's a stable elliptical orbit, but there is no loop or feedback mechanism causing it to orbit. It's like you said earlier, forward velocity and Earth's gravity striking a balance. It's more like a neutron moderation in a critical working steady state power nuclear power plant. It follows a predictable physical law, not a feedback. But the space station isn't completely out of the atmosphere, which does contain a tiny bit of air. That's true, it is in low orbit. That amount of drag does need to be monitored, which reduces its orbital velocity over time. Kind of analogous to corrosion or friction in a nuclear system. And as it loses speed moving forward, gravity starts to pull it a little closer to <laughs> Earth each day. So it doesn't lose, lose speed first and then fall. It loses altitude due to drag. And as it drops, its orbital velocity goes up slightly, but its total mechanical energy goes down. So it's really more of a drag. Thing. Meaning it would eventually fall to the ground. To fix this, the station uses small rocket boosts every few weeks to climb back up. There are periodic reboosts as part of maintenance in order to compensate, so just like a control system at a nuclear plant. 